forging cyber. Forging cyber security. Secure Ninja. Hey everyone, I'm Alicia Webb with Secure Ninja TV and we are back here at Fed Cyber 2014 in Tyson's Corner right outside of Washington, D.C. We are talking with this keynote speaker here today. This is Masha Sadova and she is the Director of Trust Engagement at Salesforce. How are you today? I'm doing really well. Thanks, Alicia. Awesome. We really enjoyed your talk. Um, it was a lot about the um, security and company culture. So tell us a little bit about that. So one of the things that I've discovered that in my role in security and being an information security professional was that there's not a big focus on the people aspect of security. When in fact, one of the greatest things we really need to be considering is that cyber attacks are people attacking people with a lot of technology in between. And so we really need to be looking at this holistically and considering the human element of security. Right. So how do you get humans within a company engaged in cybersecurity if that's not necessarily their field? So this is something that we call discretionary performance, by getting people to want to do security instead of have to. And the way we get to do that is by including elements like gamification, positive incentives, rewards and recognition to get people to understand that these are behaviors we would like to see them do and actually reward them when they demonstrate them as opposed to just punish bad behavior when we see people not aligning to the things we expect them to do. Right. So give us an example of gamification. That sounds fun. Yeah. So let's say we take phishing, which is something that I think every corporation deals with in our current threat landscape. And if our employees actually report a phishing email, they get rewards for it. First, they get points that recognize them for their behavior. Then they get um, a security champion level one for doing that, and they can get up to level one, two, three, all the way up to five, and different levels of swag, whether or not it's an exclusive T-shirt or a hoodie, depending on how, how you uh, go up on the scale. And... When you report a phishing email, you get recognized on our social platform for that kind of behavior. Your boss gets met, mentioned, and um, we as a company recognize that our employees are demonstrating the right behavior, like reporting a phishing email. Hey, that is awesome. So, okay, it's, it's great during the game and the employees are engaged, but what happens when the game is over and there's really no incentive anymore? Do you think those skills and habits that they've learned to carry over? Absolutely. I actually think one of the greatest problems with the security awareness industry to date has been that it's been very theoretical, mm -hmm. that it's a computer-based training that we go for through, through for a few minutes, and we don't actually take it away because it's not relevant to our day-to-day -day job. We aren't asked to practice those behaviors on a daily basis, and no one gives us feedback as to how well we are doing. Mm -hmm. Did we do it well or poorly? What can we do better next time? And so once you're done with the training, once you understand what behaviors are asked of you, let's say reporting a phishing email, for example, and then you actually get to practice it. And that's a key component, actually living this day to day. So you get to report, either you fish your employees and you get to report it, or you test them on how will they do with tailgating or bad surfing exercises, or passing uh, security development classes, if you're a developer, for example. So the gamut's pretty wide, but you actually get to practice these behaviors. And I think that's really a key component of a, su a successful security awareness program, is making our employees actually get their hands a little bit dirty with the things we've asking, we're asking them to do. Right. Now, phishing is obviously the you know, technical side of things that everyone always hears about. But tell us a little bit more about badge surfing and why that's a threat. So uh, bad surfing or tailgating um, is when you allow someone who has unauthorized access to a secure space where only your employees should be, right? And really, we, are, we all try as companies to get our employees to wear badges visibly all the time. But it's quite possible that not all of your employees do so. And so how do you get to a place where your employees will wear badges. And we did this really great exercise where we asked 300 volunteers to be top secret uh, James Bond um, in volunteers for our organization and see how many places they can get into without a badge. And if they got through, they got points. But if they got stopped, the person who stopped them got points and recognized on our social profile. Um, and so 
we recognize the people who actually demonstrated the right behaviors and gave them thumbs up and some security points for doing the right thing. And it's incredible because it was a game essentially that spread company wide and globally and right. it really well received. Right. That sounds like so much fun. Now, Salesforce is a huge company, um, but cybersecurity is important for employees and all, all sizes of companies. How would you recommend, you know, that gamification could be brought into smaller companies and used for their cybersecurity? So I actually think that gamification, the roots of it are positive psychology and recognizing people for great behavior, right? So no matter what size your company is or how old or young they are, we as human beings really love getting high fives and saying, thanks, you did a great job. Yeah. Um, and so you can take an element of that and reward your employees for the behavior you want. And if you're a small company and you don't have dedicated budget for this, it's sending a thank you email mm -hmm. when employees are, are doing the right thing. And it doesn't have to have a lot of money. You could be giving away an exclusive parking spot or creating a couple of cool t-shirts that you give out to the people who you want to recognize and um, elevate in status for great behavior. And if you're a big company, recognizing the things that apply to your employees globally and maybe in different geographic regions will have different incentives and rewards. But really, as human beings, we all like to get a thank you, a high five for good behavior. And that is irrelevant of the type of company you work for or the size. Right. Positive reinforcement is always good. Yes. Well, thank you so much for sharing your knowledge with us today. We really enjoyed your talk, and I'm sure everyone else here at FedCyber did as well. Thank you so much for your time. Definitely. Thanks for watching Secure Ninja TV. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel so you don't miss any of the other great interviews we've shot here at FedCyber. We also cover conferences all over the world and provide a lot of other really great cybersecurity resources. Also, follow us on Twitter, like us on Facebook, and even check out our Instagram. I'm Alicia Webb. Thanks for watching. Secure Ninja TV is brought to you by SecureNinja.com, a world leader in cybersecurity training and certification. Our master instructors will help build you into a highly skilled and marketable security professional. Secure Ninja, forging cybersecurity experts.